Cannabis, marijuana, and small amounts has been legal in Virginia for more than a year now, but employees and even those looking for work could lose their job or even their job prospects for having the substance in their system. 8 News reporter Olivia Jakewood joins us live in the Digital Center tonight. Olivia, what does this mean for law enforcement? Yeah, well, Eric Dana, specifically to law enforcement, I spoke with several agencies today, and what's allowed and what's not really varies depending on where you work. For example, employers that receive money from the federal government are bound to those standards where marijuana is still considered illegal. But locally, other agencies have made slight changes to their drug testing policies to account for legal marijuana in the hiring process. For law enforcement agencies in and around Richmond, Many drug testing policies remain zero tolerance for marijuana, even since its legalization last July. Drug use and law enforcement are not uh, something that can coexist um, in, in, in employees. Sean McGowan with Virginia's Police Benevolent Association is a former cop. He says the agency hasn't seen widespread hiring or employment challenges since marijuana's legalization in the Commonwealth. Things like the time period from the last use and that sort of thing have come come up and been discussed. The hiring process aspect of it we would not be involved in because those people, if they're turned down because of drug reuse, they wouldn't be a member. In Henrico County, prospective police officers are automatically disqualified for the use of marijuana within 12 months of applying to be part of the division. But in Hanover County, there's been a slight shift in the sheriff's office policy. Now, no longer asking about marijuana use during the hiring process. But once you're brought on, you can't have any marijuana or concentrated THC in your system, even for medical purposes. There are constantly um, in an attempt for recruiting, uh, changing uh, entrance uh, standards, but um, I've not seen, heard anything specifically about marijuana use. Now, I also reached out to Richmond and Chesterfield Police, but was directed to their respective human resource departments. But other employers, such as Henrico Schools, Richmond Ambulance Authority, and HCA Virginia Hospitals are maintaining their zero tolerance, tolerance policies for marijuana use, something they say may cause confusion among job seekers, but has not had a major impact on their hiring. Live in the Digital Center tonight, Olivia Jake with 8 News.